Hey guys, Ivan here, so totally accidentally I stumbled upon this video, which is Ronnie Coleman's last Mr. Olympia ever 2007, and probably his worst shape ever, still, still very impressive, fourth place, well deserved, well deserved, some people think that Dennis Wolf may have been better and that he was robbed, that they gave this fourth place to Ronnie just because of his name, but I don't feel like it, I'm gonna show you that later. Um, here you can see him posing, so he's huge here, he's absolutely huge, but he doesn't have that grainy, that dry conditioning, his skin got a little bit thicker, which is not the case with his lower body, but the balance and the symmetry is definitely not there. He lost a lot of, uh, for example, calf size, arm size, and his stomach got even more distended, chest started uh, sort of melting, hanging there, lats also look uh, asymmetrical a little bit, and they're also melting um, the arms, the biggest disbalance is with his arms. So his left arm right here, you can see that it is much smaller than the right one. And overall, I mean, still, it was an impressive shape of Ronnie Coleman, but not Ronnie Coleman that we saw before. Here you can see his quads, also his left quad lost a lot of size. So very, uh, very, very bad balance. So he lost a lot of balance, I mean, a lot of symmetry. Um, some muscles melted, some didn't. Conditioning was sort of there, but his skin started to look, uh, started to look like an old man's skin, if you know what I mean. I don't know how to describe it, it got sort of thicker, uh, or something like that. I think he was conditioned, but uh, it's just something that, that he can change at this point. His body just was worn off at this point, he was old, and the, the, the biggest thing probably was the waist, pun intended. So his waist was the biggest thing on his physique right here, and it grew a lot, it grew exponentially, it was much bigger than it ever was, and it also created a bad illusion for him, the rest of his body looked smaller because of that, but he was not small by any means, I'm not sure how much did he weigh at this uh, 2007 Mr. Olympia, but he looked big, he looked huge, although he didn't have that illusion that he had before, because his waist was kind of small, you know, in, the, in his prime, not the bubble gut, he had the stomach, it was pointing out, but uh, from the front or from the back, his waist uh, seemed small, not here, not in 2007. So he took fourth place, uh, I don't think any other result uh, should have happened, I think that was what he deserved, not better, not worse, and I still think this is one impressive physique. He retired after this year, and the year before he lost to Jay Cutler. It was an obvious loss for him, but he still didn't uh, want to give up. He still wasn't ready to give it up, so he tried it again and went from being the number one in the world to being fourth, which was probably sad, very, very sad moment for him, and his speech after this Mr. Olympia was also pretty heartbreaking. Here you can see him standing next to Dennis Wolf who took 5th place, right behind Ronnie, so he was more balanced, he had better proportions, better lines, he was younger, he looked fresh, he was symmetrical and so on, but he wasn't as big as Ronnie, and I think that was pretty much the only thing, Ronnie was bigger, he wasn't more conditioned, their conditioning was similar, right there in the ballpark, it's just that Ronnie was bigger, more matured, not more balanced, but uh, the size is also very important, and I think it's just because of his name that he placed higher than Dennis Wolf. But be my guest, be my guest, tell me what you think. He retired, yeah, he retired, he never competed again, but next year, the very next year, he stepped on stage again, and he did some guest posing, which was, if you ask me, absolutely uncalled for. I don't think this was necessary. There is a lot of bodybuilders who retired, and they stayed relevant, and they, they still did appearances, and seminars and uh, all kinds of stuff without you know taking their clothes off and posing on the stage and uh, especially if you look like this you shouldn't be doing it because some people were here for the first time in their life and, and saw Ronnie Coleman uh, alive so they were probably I mean they were obviously disappointed because this is def definitely not an impressive physique 2007 was great I mean it was Mr Olympia winning physique still fourth in the world it is amazing but this is a year after he retired, so he lost a lot of his gains, everything started just, you know, hanging there, it looks like he's melting, he melted away, so this was just absolutely unnecessary. He enjoyed it, I'm sure, he enjoyed it, I'm sure, but he didn't look impressive, people were probably not happy seeing him like this. 
So, this is it for this video, guys. I'm sure you saw Aronic Coleman at his best many times before, but I'm sure you didn't see this too many times. Um, him at his worst. And this is something about him that tells you what kind of person, what kind of a bodybuilder he was. He couldn't just give up, and he still can't, basically. Please like the video and subscribe. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.